So let's talk about the Bushbender, of course, Nunga case that she went missing in the year 2000. Um, so what I want to say to people that don't know is she was from Yuba City. She was 27 years old when she went missing. Now, we're getting a lot of people that want um, the story in English as well. I just want to let you guys know that I am putting this on different uh, social media platforms and other platforms that people can follow along on. But since it was in Punjabi, I'm just uh, going ahead and starting this up in English. So she went missing in the year 2000. Her vehicle was found in Emeryville, um, and she's from Yuba City. Um, and what we came to find out was that from, now this is from resources, that she had uh, left with someone because first of all, she did not like driving the highway. Um, there are many rumors that uh, she had an affair, but now we're having people that are coming forward that are remembering things and these are coworkers. So um, we're also getting names that she had actually ended up leaving with somebody and she was not murdered of what they originally thought. So here's my thing is when somebody leaves a husband, wife, if you've been following other um, cases, you'll notice the husband is the first one they go after, right? So we're also finding out that he was not in the area at that time. This is again from his records and background search that we did on him. Um, so Pushpinder was a very intelligent, very smart woman. She went to a boarding school in India. She was married at the age of 18, came to the United States, um, was working on a farm where, they, where she lived. They did live in a trailer, so she did have quite the hardship. She ended up later working two jobs. Um, one, she would go to a factory, and then in the evening, she used to also work in a bakery. So there were um, two jobs that she'd worked, and um, it just, they just didn't get along. There was abuse, um, and they did have a child who is now 27 years old. But the rumors have been, what we're hearing is that she had traveled into Canada. Originally we heard um, traveled from the Buffalo or Detroit, Michigan border. So it's Ambassador Bridge or the Niagara Falls border that there is in Buffalo. This, uh, in 2017, this case, they did have a person of interest. This was, um, we did find that news, but they did not name who the person was. We also heard a few years ago they had called somebody to Buffalo um, that was also a person of interest. So this is a believing, and with that, we, we're getting more and more clues that she is in Canada. We've also been uh, um, in touch with a party that said that they would like time for her to come forward. She does want to come forward. She doesn't know how. She didn't expect this to happen, nor did anybody else. So we just got so many views, and we've just been working on this case. I think this is an open case, and somebody needs to solve it. Okay, and we have worked countless days, hours, you know, weekends, pretty much all day, every day on her figuring out what's going on, connecting the dots, figuring out where she's at, contacting the RCMP, contacting news resources in Canada, the, anybody who has seen her. So now just remember the pictures that we have, they are quite old. So she was 27 years when she left, right? And now that was the year 2000. So here we are almost 2024 in February. It's gonna be 24 years since she's been gone. All right. Um, originally the thing was, oh, did she die? Did something happen to her? But there's a lot more to the story I feel like that, that we really originally ended up knowing. So I'm gonna post uh, the pictures and yeah, follow along. I'll just keep posting this. And any questions you guys have, please do let me know. Thank you so much for wa uh, watching us. Ruby Bassey from Seattle, Washington. We'll be bringing you reports and follow-ups. Thank you.